Hi everyone, it's Jess with Kinder Stampo and today I'm going to make a really fun project. I know you guys have seen um, that a lot of folks are making these really fun little um, kind of like um, boxes filled with cute treats inside them or just some cute decorations and they worked really really well for home decor. Most of them are made out of wood but this um, today I'm gonna make a version made out of paper and for this particular one I'm gonna make it in the shape of a tree because I'm doing this for my It's a Small World um, blog hop and I want to um, share one of the traditions and this is gonna be the 12 days of Christmas. So there's 12 different little boxes that I created and each of the boxes are going to have a different scene within them. So let me just show you really quickly what the products are that I'm going to be using and how to make the base of this project which is just the little box. So let's move this over to the side. I'm going to be using Imaginist has an awesome awesome Christmas um, um, layout. It's called Cottage Christmas. And this collection is absolutely fabulous. I'll be using some of these papers, some of their chipboard stickers, some of their sticker glass stickers. Lots and lots of fun stuff in this, in this collection. I'll also be using some of these beautiful snowflake crystals. I don't know if you guys know, but Imaginisk also has flowers, so I'll be using some of these beautiful flowers. I'll use some of their metal stickers. Absolutely gorgeous. They're like snowflakes that are completely blinged out. Um, and some of their rub-ons. So lots and lots of really cool stuff I'll be using for this. I'll also be um, incorporating some of my Lindy Stamp Gang um, stains and the ones that I may be using for these are Ponderosa Pine Olive and Poinsettia Red Gold which are absolutely perfect for this project. I'm going to add a few drippy goos all over it and I know you guys have seen this. It's the Martha Stewart drippy goo punch that is used for Halloween but I'm going to use this as drippy snow so this is going to be used as snow in my project and you'll see how I make that really soon. I'm also going to use some of the um, the leaves from IamRoses.com and I'll, of course I'll be using my Helmar 450 adhesive and also my tape runner. I'll probably be using some pop dots for that too and of course, I have to incorporate Unity somehow, so I probably will use some of the letters from Frame This Alpha on here. And then to finish it off, I'm going to spray it with my Preserve Your Memories to sealant, which is perfect for sealing all of your projects and making them completely acid-free. So if you ever want to protect a project and make sure that um, it'll last forever, this is the product that you need to use for that. So let me just show you how to do the base for this project and then I'll come back in and show you some other steps for it. So to start off, you're going to need your Martha Stewart scoreboard and you're going to need a square that is four by four and you're just basically going to score it um, at one inch all around. So here we go. We're going to do one inch and then you're going to score it at three inches. Then you're going to flip your paper and you're going to score again at one inch and then at three inches. So we're basically making that same little note card box except without a top this time. So now that it's scored I just go ahead and I fold all of my edges. And just make sure you score them really well. And then all you're going to do is you're going to cut this corner and this one. So you're at once you cut these two edges, you're just going to have the three flaps that fold over. You're going to flip it over and you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So just only two sides of this box 
will have two cuts on them like that. Then you're just going to flip this up so it folds and these two are going to be tucked in and then these other two will also be tucked in and then you're just going to raise the two sides and close it off. So just so you guys can see how I glued it, um, I used my Helmars 450 quick dry adhesive for this project. It glues again really, really well and it's perfect for paper and for ribbon and for, for it's kind of my go-to for everything and I like it because it, it'll adhere really well and not only that, it'll dry super quick. So I'm just putting a little bit on the inside tabs and I believe these little corner tabs are just maybe an inch by an inch. You want to know the exact measurements. And then you're just going to tuck the two tabs in and fold this flap over on it. So there, we have one side complete. You're going to flip it over, tuck those two tabs in, and then press the bigger tab over it. So that's, it's as easy as that. So this is a project that you can make super, super quick and um, make lots of them if you like. So I'll come back and show you exactly what the finished product looks like. Um, see you in a little bit. So here is the finished product. I had so, so much fun making this. Um, it's my version of uh, basically some a Christmas shadow box and I created 12 different little boxes as I showed you previously how to make them and I just glued them together on the sides and then kind of stacked them on top of each other. So the top there's one, two, three, four, and then two um, single ones on the bottom. So super, super easy to do. Then the next thing I did was I cut some borders with my Martha Stewart um, Dewey Drip Punch. And this is just basically what it looked like. Just a long strip like this. And then I scored it and then I kind of just tucked it in between the layers. So this flap right here would just fold over and you wouldn't see um, where, it, where it starts or where it ends. Then um, all I did was I had some fun and I started putting some decorating the inside of the boxes. So one of the things that I use for this project are these fun, they're, um, I guess they're called pipe cleaners, but these are metallic looking ones. And I made just a various number of shapes with them. I made some stars, some trees, some candy canes, and I took them within here. So for this one right here, I used um, one in gold and I just um, wrapped it around with some metallic twine. So just to add a little bit more dimension to the to the star, as you can see. And then this right here is one of the Imaginist um, Stipker glass. And it's from the Cottage Christmas Collection. It's a cute little girl dressed in some really pretty greens and oranges and pinks. Then inside here, Imaginist has these really wonderful flowers. And they come with them. They're pretty generous in their packaging. They came with reds and whites and all I did was I stacked them on top of each other and I put a couple of Prima um, leaves behind it for, I don't know if you can see very well, let's see if I can get a good close-up look, but there's a lot, a lot of shimmer in there and that's because I used my Lindy Stamp Gang. I used it on the flowers and I used them on the leaves and for that I used the Poinsettia Red Gold um, Starburst stain, and I also used the Ponderosa Pine Olive Starburst stain. The next thing I did was um, in this pocket right here, I put in just some some pieces of um, cardstock that I cut from their collection. I just kind of paper pie pieced it together in here. Then this right here is again one of those little. Um, embellishments that I made myself. It's the shape of a tree and it's made with those um, pipe cleaners. And then I put another one of the little um, gnomes in there from the cigar glass set. This right here are my <laughs> Unity Stand Company's favorite stand set. I think I use this on all of my projects. You guys have probably seen it. It's called Frame This Alpha by Unity Stand Company. And all I did was I stamped it and then I distressed the edges and punched it with a circle punch. It's just a one inch circle punch, works perfect. I put another one of those little glass stickers here. 
Then in the middle row, what I did was I created a candy cane out of the pipe cleaner. And then I put this pretty bowl that's on here that's, again, from the Imaginist collection. It's called um, Cottage Christmas, and it's just their ribbons, and they come in a set of four like this. Then in the middle, all I did was I did some paper piercing, piercing and I put some more of those little glass um, stickers in there. Then this one was really fun. I don't know if you guys can tell, um, but there's this big, gigantic uh, glass. It's not glass. It's a um, plastic ornament, and it's a, it's a snowflake shape. And then in the middle, you see there's a big rhinestone. Um, I used these really pretty embellishments that come by Imaginesque also. I think they come with like about 30 of them in the package and they're called the Snowflake Crystals. And I just dangled dangled it so when, if you look at it, it actually is dangling from the top. And then in the middle, I used my eye rock to put a little rhinestone just to give it some extra bling. This right here is another little glass sticker. Then here, um, this particular paper that I use has a, had a lot of borders, so I just cut the one that had all of the little houses and I put it in here. I thought it was really cute. And then for here, what I did was, I don't know if you saw my previous project, but it's one of those really fun chatterbox wooden frames that already come distressed. And I thought it was perfect to put here because I had the little um, cottages in the back and then here I put the glass sticker that has the reindeer and the sled. So I thought that was really cute. And then I used these um, really awesome metallic stickers just to add some, some embellishing to the outside of the package. Then on the bottom, all I simply did was, again, I just put some pieces of cardstock in there and some of these glass stickers in here. Again, you'll see some of those different kinds of snowflake crystals. And I, if you can look really close, there's some rhinestones in there as well. And then, uh, if you, I don't know if you can tell, but on this gooey snowflake, um, gooey goop that I turned into like drippy snow, uh, it looks like it, it has texture on it. And that again is because I used the Deco Art Snow Rider. And this is really, really fun if you're working on Christmas projects. That's a really nice snow texture to your project. So, um, so this is basically what my project is for this blog hop. I had so much fun making it. I think I'm going to put this on the wall overlooking my fireplace. And then I'm hoping that depending on what kind of pictures I have, I may even put some pictures of the kids within some of these boxes. So that's why I didn't put too much in all of the boxes because I wanted to leave some spaces open where I can actually put some photos. So um, I had tons of fun making this project. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the projects that will be featured during this blog hop. Thanks for watching.